All right, guys, we're doing a little surf fishing today. Making our way down the path, try to find a good spot in Curry Beach, or more specifically, Fort Fisher. And we're gonna use some shrimp on bottom rigs, and we're gonna use sand fleas if we can find them. So that's the plan, water looks good. Looks like it's low tide. Stay tuned. So what I'm using today, guys, is just frozen shrimp. Um, this is some shrimp that I bought fresh before. As long as you keep it frozen and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't lose its color, it doesn't turn orange, it should be fine. Um, I'm using this three hook rig right here. But yeah, they'll eat this. Um, if I could find some sand fleas out here, I'm certainly gonna use those as well. Uh, for the big whiting and pompano. So let's see if we can get into some of those. <laughs> into the rod holder we go. All right, guys, we got something nibbling it right here in this first wave. Look like something little. Whoa, he nabbed it. He didn't smash it good. Uh, I might have missed it. I don't think I got him. Let's see what else is out there. All right, so I've got a three hook rig here with shrimp and been getting some bites um, a little bit further out. Sometimes the fish are right up on the beach. Um, about that distance there, I think I threw off a little bit of my shrimp, but uh, let's see what we can do right here. The bites have come pretty quickly. And there he goes. I don't know if you guys saw that bite on camera, but I think I got him. Just that quick, especially when there's croakers out here. And we're going after pompano and whiting, although a lot of people do eat croakers. I'm not one of them. Let's see what we got here. Yep, small croaker. Little guy. Gotta watch out, they have little tiny spines, little gill rakers. Looks like something, well, I don't know if that was from the hook or what. Seems like lately I'm always reeling in stuff that has some kind of cut or bite to it. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, too little, but you know, it's a fish. Let him go. There's like a whole school of uh, croaker out here right now. You can watch the rod tip, you'll see them bite it. Oh, there he goes, there's a little nibble. Yep, there he goes, biting it, munching it. Very croaker-like. Oh yeah, there's. Yep, he's on there. That one bit it a little bit differently. The slack line kind of came at me, sort of the way a black drum would bite it. Babe's trying to get on camera. I might have two of them at once here, really putting up a fight. See what we got. Oh yeah, a little double action here. We got a lizard fish, which is pretty much the definition of a trash fish. Still, still treat them with respect that I would any other fish, but 
they got lots of teeth. They're not my favorites. Really hard to get a grip of. Ow. Anyway, we get rid of, ouch. Get rid of him first. If we can, if we can even hold on to him. See those teeth right there? All right, got the hook out. I don't know if you guys can see those teeth or not, but we got some nasty teeth. Let him go. The other one is our old friend, the croaker. He's all wrapped up in the line. Oh, easy enough. Came right off. Yeah, little croaker. These guys are good to eat if you catch them big enough, but these are definitely not big enough. I've caught a couple that were, but, um, you know, still fun to catch. Trying to catch some pompano or whiting, that's ideal. All right, let me cast it back out. Ideally, we want to get something that's a little better. You know, I'll keep a big pompano, I'll keep a big whiting. I will not, however, keep a lizard fish. There's a hole right out here. It's part of the reason why they're out here. No need to put it in a rod holder right now because a lot of stuff is out there. Might even throw a lure in a minute on my other, on my Shimano 3000. Whoa, there was a bite. Wasn't paying any attention. Ugh, just like daddy. He smacked it. Let's see what we got here. Putting up a little fight. What do we got? Croaker. Another one. Nope. That's all right. You go ahead and uh, head right on back into the water, buddy. There you go. Easy enough. See, there he goes, messing with it. There he goes. Not even. Well. I don't know if he's on there or not. Let's we'll see. But if he is, he's real little. Feels like he's on there. Guys, this will be an interesting one to look at. We got a puffer fish, or what you call a blow toad. They're kind of weird. Now watch him blow up right when I right when I touch him. See? Pretty neat fish. Interesting. Atlantic puffer. Some people have eaten these in the past, but I don't really recommend it. Yeah, but really neat fish, really unique. Uh, they're not like the spiny puffer out on the west coast. Look, see him blowing up? You can kind of get him to, to do that right there. See that? And there he goes, he's all blown up. All right, let's go let him go. They do this, guys, as a defense mechanism. If a big fish tries to swallow them, they'll blow their bodies up, and then the fish chokes, and then the fish will expel him, and he will survive. Little tiny bites. You could hardly even see him or feel him. And there he goes, and he deflates the swim off. Sun's back out. Beautiful conditions today on the water. Nothing's hitting this shrimp right here. Surprisingly, I mean, we just threw it out like a few minutes ago. It didn't take two minutes until something started to smash it. 
started to really eat that shrimp up, but this is sitting out there untouched for right now. We had mint success today. We caught, um, you know, some croakers. Um, we caught an Atlantic uh, blowfish, or I'll have to look, look up the name again on that. We've caught a ton of them in the past, but, um, you know, I know they're, some people call them blow toads. We caught a lizard fish, kind of a mixed bag of stuff today. Um, we didn't catch any of the whiting or the pompano that we were looking for. Um, so, you know, they're in here, but uh, maybe the conditions weren't right. Uh, we need to find some of the holes out here in the water next time, um, running along the beach, um, you know, for our optimal success. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, like and subscribe if you like my content. And uh, yeah, I'll bring more content to you soon. Thanks.